up guys Adam here at ECP with another video for you on how to remove your rear seat from your ST and this process is the same if it's for an ST1, ST2 and ST3 and it'll come very useful for multiple reasons uh, please bear in mind that this video is brought to you by A&K Motorsport the online Ford suppliers of ST, RS and Mustang parts for your, all your OEM and upgraded parts so go and check them guys out i'll leave a link in the description and if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel it helps the video it helps the channel grow so i can offer more videos that will help you guys down the line but furthermore let's go and get this video done and dusted all right guys first things you need to do is to remove these bolts there's four of them one there two three and your fourth on the opposite side so it's two for the small section and another two for the double section. What you need is a T30 top bit and a ratchet and take all four out. So go ahead and do that first guys. The bottom seats will just literally come apart. Now there are retaining flanges on these. So you need to give them a bit of a wriggle, push them back a bit and up and they come straight out. There's a retaining flange. They sort of like just catch on to the bottom here. Once you release that, the whole seat comes out. And then you do the same on the opposite side. Bear in mind that the double seat will have a couple of flanges. So I literally wriggle it around. Ideally push it back and lift it at the back. And that will just pop straight out. And then you can get on to the two back pieces. Right everyone, before I go on to the next section, I'll just uh, let you know, I'm not actually taking all this out if you're wondering why I haven't got my sections out. So I've already done the job because I actually replaced my leather ST3 seats for a three seat uh, a cloth uh, ST2 seats. Uh, I can show you the extra few bits you need to do if you want to do that conversion yourself. Uh, but up till this point right now, you still follow these instructions. I'll show you the last little bit at the end. So the next bit you want to do guys on both sides is drop the backs down. Drop the backs down and right in the corner behind the seat belt. This is what you've got to do to release the back pieces. Now it's really straightforward. See on there, right there, there's a little white marking. I don't know if yours is marked white, but mine is, which is handy. All you need to do get screwdriver this side and just push it all the way back it's metal so don't be shy once you've pushed that back the seat will now just pop out so literally just grab it and pull it up you see how it's coming up there I literally just need to give it a little bit of a yank and the seats out and then this side is free and all you need to do is go onto the other side and do the same again. Bear in mind though guys, this all the opposite side won't actually come out because the join there, which I'm going to show you what to do next. But first what you have to do is release this one, then go to the other side and do the same. Remember, all you need to do, flat edge screwdriver, push the piece that was marked white back and it will pop the seat up. Please don't be leaning on the seat whilst you're doing it because when you push the uh, push the metal bar back, it pushes the seat up. If you're leaning on it, you won't, you won't be able to push it back. So don't put any weight in the seat. Screwdriver, slide it, push it back. They can be really sticky. This one was easy. On the opposite side, it was really sticky. So maybe you want to put a bit of spray in there. That might help. It'll WD-40 or release spray. But once you've done that, I'll show you the next stage. Right everyone, once you've released both back pieces, uh, they are now free. They will like move, they'll fold up and down, they'll twist the turn, but they won't release. The reason being, let me show you on the ST3 seats that I've already removed. It just makes life a lot easier, as I'm not actually removing these ones, because I've already removed my leather ones. That's the join. So that's obviously slid into there at an anchor point. So this is the last thing you need to do. Now, if you just try pulling them apart, there's not enough room, nor can you twist the back bits, you know, like lift them up, try to twist them and pop it out. It won't do it because of these flanges. You have to have it parallel and straight. So the knack is,
is to uh, once the double piece is loose is twist it so that far side is slightly set back so it's like a diagonal so it's angled like this so that means then you know, it's a straight line and this end will just pop straight out and then you can pull the other side out otherwise if you keep them straight like that there's not enough room even if you twist it and try to bend it it won't pop out because of them flanges so you have to line it up as if you're going to pull it sideways out the door so obviously angle the bigger piece further back and then line the single piece up and it will just pop out then the opposite side will pop out and that is basically guys your rear seats removed right everyone if you wanted to replace the seats you just repeat the process so obviously get you your double back in first lined up get your single back bit in lined up sort of similar how you took them out you do that to put them back in push them together then you need to uh, push both ends into the re retainers the housings what where you remember where you push the uh, the bar back which released them now what you want to do is line the seat up back in its housing and give it a firm push down and that will click everything back in place as you can see everything's still pushed back release position so give it a good push just like that and there's the white bit all locked in back in place and now that is locked in do that on both sides then push the seats back up and they're all good to go and then it's a case of getting your bench seats back in your double and your single making sure that the retainer uh, the little flange there that sort of gives a bit of retaining make sure that's in push it in make sure it doesn't wiggle out and then do the four bolts up and that is it guys that is re uh, removing and replacing the seats if you want to do that right everyone so at this point you've got all the seats removed you've got the bottom you've got the backs uh now this part is for anyone that wants to do really well basically what i've done is replace my two seater st3 lever seats for a three seater st1 st2 seats uh, to do that you need a t50 torque bit and you want to remove this buckle here now the new back bit on the st1 st2 seats will have the uh, obviously the third seat belt and it have the buckle on, at the bottom as well so get your t50 top bit undo the one bolt remove that buckle and replace it with the new buckle that's attached to the third seat belt then you need to remove your other buckle that's part of your st3 seats which will be a single one so it's going to be a single one there you need to remove that then you need to go and purchase a double bucket a bucket a double buckle off ebay they're about 12 pound or try a breaker or see if the person that you're buying these rear seats off uh, can supply you with the double one and that is just a t50 bolt itself there's no other bolts no nothing nothing than about it's literally there t50 and there's a little hole with a little retainer uh, nipple there so you know it's quite straightforward where, you, where they have to go so you obviously take out the single one and refit it with the double one and now your seat belts are ready for the new seats it's all set up ready to go